Hello everybody, it is Dr. Steve back with another episode of Core Wellness TV 3 Pillars Edition. Mindset, Movement, and Nutrition. The mindset piece is going to tell you how you can stop running the same loop over and over again with back pain or any other kind of pain syndromes, hip pain, plantar fasciitis, all that kind of stuff. The, uh, my, uh, the movement tip is going to be about a quick micro break you can do called Bruger's position and we're going to also go do a Bruger's Plus position, especially this is going to be helpful if you sit a lot at desks and computers and such. Lastly, we're going to talk about quickly about allergies. There's a lot about allergies, but I'm going to give you a couple of lifestyle nutrition things you can do as well as a couple of supplements that help immensely speed the process of healing. Now going back to mindset, the one thing I hear about all the time is I'll come in and say that's, people say, this foot has been like this for three years, that's my bad foot. Or this back pain has been here all my life, I've just got a bad back. And they re refer to their conditions as bad foot, bad back, that's my bad side of my neck, that's my bad shoulder. Okay, so this very simple thing, I stop them right there at that moment because I say, is if they've been saying themselves or if you've been saying to yourself over and over again that that's my bad back, then guess what? Your brain is going to believe and form a core belief around that that you have a bad back. That every time you start to do this or that, whatever it is, every time you garden, you're going to be hurting the next day. You have a belief system about that. So the first thing I do is say, let's change our language there so we can talk to our brain differently because whatever you tell your brain over and over again, it's going to create that in your life. So if you believe you have a bad back and you start doing exercises and taking fish oil and start doing all of the right things, start moving better, if you have a belief that you have a bad back, your brain, which likes to be on automatic pilot and keep things the way they are, will find a way for you to sabotage your success. And you're going to go right back in to your belief because your limiting belief about your back or about your foot or about your uh, shoulder is going to manifest if you do not change the core belief. So you have to talk to yourself the way I say it to people is from now on, this back is referred to as your healing back. This foot is the side that is healing. It's not your bad foot side, it is your healing side. So that's my mindset piece for you today, is talk to your brain differently. The movement piece, the posture piece. Uh, I've been teaching Bruger's postural relief position ever since I started practice 14 years ago, and it is fantastic. It's very simple, and all you do is to offset the sternosymphysial syndrome, as Dr. Bruger called it, he's a European neurologist, where your sternum close, comes close to your symphysis, especially when you're sitting, right, mousing or working at the computer, you scoot to the edge of your chair, open up your thumbs, and your chest opens up, and it pays your tissue debt, so that creep doesn't build up and cause long-term damage in your spine. Now, very simply, that's all it is. Turn your thumbs backwards, all right? And I, I like to add, spread your fingers, reach your wrist backwards, spread your fingers, but just make sure that you're not allowing your chest to pop up and out. We have to always first respect the neurodevelopmental rule of keeping your diaphragm at a, on a horizontal plane. So we can't do this because that overloads our back and that doesn't help us out much. So the first thing I like to say is before you do your open up, let's pretend like we're pushing away from support point and that will bring everything down. Okay? And then from there, open up, reach back and really feel your shoulder blades open and feel your chest open, okay? Take a few big deep cleansing breaths into your center, into your core. Breathe down low into your pelvis. Do that three, four, or five times and that's enough to reset your system. Now what I call the Bruger's Plus is in addition to opening up like this and see now that we've done this, we have, or I have my shoulder opened in the front versus closed. Open, closed. Now it's open. Now, what we're going to do is, I'm going to take my hand and turn it back around, but still maintain the openness. Because the tendency when you turn it back around is going to be for it to go back forward. So this works on the posterior capsule of the shoulder, 
And you should also, when you do this, you should feel these shoulder blade muscles kind of pulling those shoulder blades down into your back pocket. And this is going to be great to decrease stress in your neck and to improve the function of your shoulder as you raise it because as you, as you drop your shoulder blade down in the back, you're going to have better scapulohemoral rhythm, it's called, and you're going to be able to raise your arm without the, the head of the humerus banging into the top of the shoulder and causing impingement syndrome, bursitis, tendonitis, and the like. So that's the, so Brueger's relief position, open up, or push away, open up, three, and then turn around and turn your, turn your arms completely around, and I like to imagine that I'm pushing away from the two pillars of my hand. I'm pushing down and away while still maintaining an open chest in the front. That's the movement piece. The last piece is nutrition piece. Allergies, allergies, allergies. Man, they're everywhere. I like to, it's a, like I said, it's a big, big issue. And basically what I, what I, the way I describe it on a grand scale is that you, you have a bucket and it's full of water when your stress is to, is to the max. And so each stress in your life, whether it's mental, emotional, uh, whether it's nutritional, whether it's physical pain, whatever, it's keep, your bucket keeps filling up. And when you get to the top of that bucket and it's full, now in the fall when the mold starts forming or in the springtime when the pollen is released, then that throws you, that, oh, and then your bucket spills over and then you have all of these symptoms, okay? So first thing is get rid of all the stress as much as you can, but the, we'll talk about nutritional stress mainly right now because nutritional stress, allergies at its core, or allergies at their core, are inflammation problems. So the, the first thing you have to do is get rid of the things that are causing inflammation in your diet. That is, boy, that is a one really excited cicada. Uh, the, the things in your diet that are irritating your gut lining and creating inflammation. Wheat and dairy, those are the big things. Go one month without wheat and dairy, see what happens. And I think you'll be amazed at how much your uh, allergies can decrease just with doing that. Now the supplements I recommend, because because it is infl inflammatory in nature, is you have to have some kind of, you have to flood your body with omega-3 acids. The omega-6s from the grain are really high, the omega-3s from the grass and anything that eats grass are really low. When you get that balance back out, the omega-6s turn into arachidonic acid eventually and they cause inflammation and swelling and redness and histamine release, all that kind of stuff. And also, uh, when you take omega-3s, that's a nice anti-inflammatory response. So just by changing your, changing your oil, right? So I recommend, I, re I still recommend fish oil. If you are vegan, vegetarian, you got to load lots and lots of green food and flax and chia and hemp into the top of the funnel so your body can make the EPA, DHA that's already in the fish oil. But I recommend, I still recommend taking fish oil to balance out the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. You're going to have less inflammation, less allergies. The other thing is, is those omega-3s make up the cell membrane because that's what makes it up. And you your cell membranes, the, the, how allergies happen is the cell membranes break open. And when they break open, all the goo spills out. And if the goo spills out, that creates inflammation. So what's, what's the goo made of? The goo is made of omega-3 fats, omega-6. It's made of the fat that you consume. So we need to make good fats to make good cell membranes. So when the cell membranes break open, and the goose spills out, there's not this major forest fire event that causes the, the inflammation and the allergies. The other thing that keeps the cell membrane strong is bioflavonoids. Bioflavonoids, this is colorful food, this is green food, this is why we always recommend green smoothies and green juices and things like that, to flood your body with those bioflavonoids that give strength to your cell membrane so they're not just easily broken open. Does that make sense? Okay, so my two recommendations, fundamental recommendations for allergies, EPA, DHA, I use Metagenics, EPA, DHA, Extra Strength, Lemon Soft Gels. It has 300 EPA and 200 DHA in each capsule. It's, it's guaranteed mercury, uh, mercury proof, dioxin proof, all that stuff. You gotta make sure you're getting a good quality oil or else the heavy metals build up in your system and that's a whole nother set of problems. So. Uh, so you can see down below where to get that if you'd like to get some of that. And also I recommend 500 C methoxyflavone, which gives you, uh, in addition to getting those in your diet, you can get a nice bolster of them in the 500 C methoxyflavone. And I usually recommend taking, you know, a couple of those a couple of times a day as well. So 
basically I would take like two, two, two of the EPA DHA extra strength, two twice a day, and then also two of the 500 C-methoxy flavones, two twice a day. That's my recommendation for like baseline stuff. There's a lot more you can do, but those, those are the basics of allergy prevention and relief. And so that concludes my episode today. So we will see you next time on Coral Wellness TV. You guys have a great, great, great day. Bye-bye.